Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Minecraft Bedrock Survival. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you the simplest and most efficient way of firing items out of dispensers and droppers. But before we do that, don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and subscribe and to ring the bell to get notifications on the videos you want. And also as well to check out my Discord community, the links are all in the description below. So okay, let's head over now to the Redstone Testing Warehouse and we can show you what we've built. So let's head down here, we'll go through the storage system today. It's so nice to be back on this world after so long. Um, they finally fixed the the, uh, the bug that was in the Bedrock Edition, which was causing the uh, the worlds to break. So let's head on over to the Redstone Testing Warehouse. Okay, so we're over in the Redstone Testing Warehouse now, and we have several models here to look at. So first off, we'll have a look at uh, my design, which is the simplest and easiest way to eject items out of a dispenser or dropper. So all it simply works is you have a dispenser uh, or dropper here. We have a comparator in there. In fact, if I just go up the scaffolding here, the uh, comparator there sends a signal out of there when there's something in this block, and that redstone signal that passes across there will power this block which will power the sticky piston, which will then push this observer out. And these are two observers facing each other, which will create an observer clock, which will eject all the items until there is no, no items in there, which will result in all of this getting unpowered and the sticky piston retracting. It's super simple, and that is basically all the blocks there that you need uh, to build this. But we're going to have a look at some of the other uh, versions, and we're also going to have a look at the uh, old version here, this uh, this big, massive, clunky mess. But uh, I'll just show you this in operation first of all. So we'll just take half a stack, pop that in there. And there you go, that is your items getting fired out to whatever you need them to be. Uh, this could be you know, for things like waste disposal. Uh, in a recent Iron Farm episode that I showed, uh, this is how I get rid of the excess poppies, just having them launched like that into lava. But uh, you know, it could be whatever, whatever it is that you need them to be dispensed for in bulk. Uh, and of course with this as well, you can take inputs from three sides. So you can, you know, you can have a, uh, a hopper there, a hopper here, a hopper here, just depending on how it fits into your build that you're working on. But we're going to have a quick look now at the, uh, shall we say, the traditional method, which is incredibly bulky, I find. Um, I tried using these, actually, I should say, I, I think I showed this off first, maybe it was about two years ago, in a ultra slim chicken farm that I made. And it was simply because I was using this old clunky method for firing the eggs out, uh, but it kept on breaking because this one here, this is incredibly prone to breaking, especially if the too many items build up in here. And in fact, I think if we just put, there we go, that's it locked. <laughs> and uh, now it won't uh, it won't fire anymore because now that has been, the, the signal strengths have now been overwhelmed, so it can no longer pulse. And the problem I was encountering, of course, on the island over there, you know, below the, um, the balloons uh, at that chicken farm, um, was because of the, the range I was from it when I was just pottering around at the base. Uh, wasn't enough for the redstone to actually be processed, but it was enough, close enough for the eggs to build up in here, which was causing it to eventually lock up. Um, so I was continuously having to come and empty it out and reset the system. So th this is just a, a very, very poor method of, uh, of doing it. And see that you're gonna take virtually out everything before it actually will start to work again. Um, so I really don't recommend that you build this under any circumstances. Uh, this one here, I'm going to show you how to build it as well individually uh, in, a, in a few moments, but I'm going to take you around a few different designs as well, depending on how you wish to fit this sort of thing into your world. So this one here is the inputs and the dispenser is above. So this could be, you know, sitting on the ground or what have you. And this one here, this is where the redstone functions above the uh, device. So same again, this one though can only take inputs from the sides, but if I take half a stack of cobble again, drop that in, and you can see that in there working. Let's just get those last couple of ones out there. So that's if the if you want the redstone to fit in above, and like I say, it's, it's all um, depending on you know the shape of your build and where you're trying to fit this in into your world. Uh, we also have here a slightly larger one, which is a sideways direction one, and I think I also showed this off as a uh, a work in progress, uh, as a progression uh, on that ultra slim chicken farm episode, because we had um, this design. 
and then I showed you the final design which was here because this was actually the steps that I uh, made to producing this single uh, single blade one here so this one is very similar again uh, but it does actually require as I said more um, uh, slightly more space uh, but you have the you know the compartment from the back here which charges this block which turns off this redstone torch which allows this to retract to make the um, observer clock so let's just same again pop a few blocks in there <laughs> I'll come round and you can see that working there how many more we got in there just a couple there we go and there you go see so it pushes that out breaking the connection Let's just gather up those there. I'll come back over here again and I'll show you this, but I think we'll just put 16 in. And there we go. It's such a simple process, such a simple design. Um, and uh, I use it, I've used it on virtually every one of my farms that require this uh, over the past few years since I came up with it. And uh, I would like that, you know, it'd be great if we could see this sort of thing adopted more than using these. Imagine how much more things you could fit around in your tight redstone space if you didn't have to use uh, a free width. I'll tell you what we'll do is before we do a quick build, what I'm going to do is I am going to put a stack in there and a stack in there. And let's see which one stops first. <laughs> so that's one thing as well because this will launch should launch a lot faster even though there was a delay in putting them in i'm confident that we'll probably get the observer clock finishing clicking first or retracting first must be almost there running out by now there we go and this guy here still going there <laughs> let's gather up all this mess okay we'll uh, build one of these units now so i'm going to just get rid of all the cobble that we don't need and uh, we're going to this chest here and this is it this is the basic design that we want here a sticky piston observer observer just some conductive blocks a redstone dab a comparator a dispenser or dropper either or and some form of input okay so we just popped all of those in the bar on the bottom there and what we'll do is we'll just build it here just on the edge of this grid so you can see the scale of it uh, I tell you what we will just pop that there in this particular setup that I have here because uh, whenever you place an observer the little redstone uh, dot is going to face you and because you want the little redstone dot there facing down uh, in our scenario here I just have to dig down two blocks and uh, let's see that was a green one <laughs> let's pop that one in there so on top of here I'm just going to place those two there, just as a conductive block. Comparator on top of there. Redstone dot there. I'm going to crouch and place that there. And then we want our observer, which is gone to the top of our inventory. And then we will get in there just... Nope, wasn't close enough. All right. <laughs> Let's try that again. Nope, we'll do it again. All right. Tell you what, plan B. From up here, we'll then place it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so what one thing, it can just get a little bit awkward. Then we'll just pop those out there. And then... Put a few in there to make sure it works. And then, of course, as I said, you can have your input coming from any direction that you require depending on your build there you go so any direction and you can take an input and it will dispense uh, or drop whichever it is uh, with this one here you only have a choice of one input which is above uh, because if you put it from the side then uh, obviously the uh, hopper is going to get locked uh, same difference here with the uh, that there uh, I will say as well, as much as we are playing Bedrock, and this is uh, our Bedrock Survival series, this works 100% in Java. Because uh, you can see on my uh, Java SMP world that uh, I use this in the farms over there, and it works perfectly. And uh, I'll just do a quick little loop of that, just so you can see how simple this design is. Um, it's the, you know, the, the best method for dispensing or dropping items. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that there. Um, 
I'll just leave that there for a moment there so you can you can see actually we'll come up here and you can see all the blocks this simple basically just a, a three by three stood up area as I said let's have actually let's have a quick zoom around here and I'll show you around here so you can pause that if you wish to build it in this orientation and then same again I will slowly walk around here so you can see this one in this one's orientation one as well that you can't see I come above on top of the uh, observer here and on top of the dispenser or dropper just a little bit of redstone just to uh, help conduct the uh, the signal across uh, this, yeah, I, I, I don't think I've actually used this sideways method in any scenario um, mainly as I said it's uh, this method here that I use there but uh, there we go. I hope you find that helpful and useful in your worlds. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and subscribe. And remember to check out my Discord community as well. The links are in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching and have a lovely day. Thank you for joining me today. If you are enjoying our journey and would like to see more, then please rate, comment, favourite and subscribe in whichever manner your chosen platform allows. If you are joining us on Twitch, Mixer or YouTube, where we have loads more for you to watch, from our live streams to all our episodes across our various series. You can also drop by and say hi over on Discord, where we chat about everything from Minecraft to books and movies to tabletop games. But most importantly, thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.